I bet you have heard that dislikes are a form of engagement and the engagement is always good for our videos, right? Unfortunately, this information is outdated. Bitcoin is the head of the search and discovery team and the question he answered gave us new information about dislikes. The big question is, are dislikes good or bad for our videos? Let's go. What's going on? My name is Rahim and welcome back to Biz Business. So if this is your first time here, make sure to subscribe and hit the bell notification so you don't miss my future videos. When we talk about are dislikes good or bad for our videos, then it's the question about whether the algorithm does less or more promotion for our videos when they get a lot of dislikes. When we talk about dislikes, I'm focusing on the dislikes and how they impact the impressions that the recommendation engine does. Have a look at the studio. You have the impressions shown here in the orange bar and these impressions I'm talking about. So the big question is how dislikes influence getting more or less of those impressions. Practically speaking, that means that your video gets shown to the viewer on the homepage. The goal of YouTube's recommendation engine is to show those videos to a viewer who is likely going to enjoy watching and not showing those videos to a viewer who will not enjoy. However, it's always learning. This recommendation engine is always learning about each individual viewer, what that viewer likes and what that viewer doesn't like. Since we are talking about dislikes, let's look at the negative side. How can a viewer signal the algorithm that this viewer doesn't enjoy the video? That the recommendation engine should show less of those videos to the viewer. There are several different ways. One particular way is that the viewer just doesn't click a video that gets recommended to that person. This means he's scrolling down on the homepage, he sees your thumbnail and title, but doesn't click it. The second signal is that the viewer clicks on the video, but watch it for a very short time. Now, if a viewer dislikes a video, well, it's obviously a video that he didn't enjoy. Of course, there are also other ways how the viewer can explicitly tell the algorithm that he or she isn't interested. For example, if you click the menu on a video, then you can tell YouTube not interested. So all in all, we can say that all these signals give the algorithm the incentive to recommend less of those videos to the same viewer, less of the same video topic, less of the videos from a given channel, and so on. So what do we learn from this? Well, if a viewer starts to dislike your videos, then of course, the recommendation system will recommend less and fewer videos of your channel. But don't worry about that. This might affect the success of your video in general. The recommendation system works in a way that it learns the interest of each and every viewer individually. Each viewer gets different recommendations. And if a viewer doesn't like your videos, well then the recommendation for that viewer gets adopted. But that doesn't change that your fans still get to see your videos. The dislikes only affect the people who do the dislikes. And frankly, this is a good thing. If a person doesn't like your videos, well then it's maybe the best that this person moves on to watch videos of other channels. I don't want you to worry about the dislikes at all. There is actually a scientific paper released about the recommendation system on YouTube. In there, it says that likes and dislikes are just a small factor. The big factor is watch time. The watch time really gives YouTube much better information whether a person enjoys a video or not. So don't worry about dislikes, just make sure to increase watch time. 